an anti-terrorism court extended the pre-arrest bail of Pakistan Tariq and South's founding chairman Imran Khan. Judge Naveed Iqbal heard the petition bail of the former Prime Minister Imran Khan in the cases of attacks on the Jinnah House, Shadman Police Station and Askari Tower of Gulberg. He directed the counsel of the PTI founder to advance his arguments on March 15. Last week, another anti-terrorism court had confirmed Mr. Khan's pre-arrest bill in four of his politically motivated frivolous cases. Imran Khan has been unlawfully incarcerated for the 215th day today. PTI's name Heather Panjata related that despite orders of the High Court, elected members of the Parliament were stopped by jail superintendent Asad Varaj from meeting Imran Khan inside the Adyala jail. While talking to the press, leader of the opposition and PTI Secretary General Mr. Umar Ayub Khan said that supremacy of the law can never be established in a country where a public servant considers himself above the law. The Secretary General of PTI and opposition leader Umar Ayub Khan said while addressing the Assembly today, end quote, on International Women's Day, the rights of women are being trampled upon along with the Constitution of Pakistan, end quote. Despite a stay order of the Peshawar High Court, the National Assembly Speaker contemptuously administered oath to reserved seat members. Those seats belonged to PTI but were allotted to the coalition government formed after stealing the mandate of the Pakistani people. The Pakistan Institute of Legislative Development and Transparency said on Wednesday that the February 8th elections have the lowest election fairness score in nearly a decade. Results of recent national elections in Pakistan are being recognized locally and internationally as one of the worst cases of electoral fraud in recent history. According to Pildat, and quote, overall fairness of the 2024 general election in Pakistan received a score of 49%, which is three percentage points lower than the score received for the 2018 general election, end quote. Pildat has demanded that the Election Commission of Pakistan ensures, and quote, a thorough investigation into the delays and deficiencies observed during the 2024 general election, particularly in result compilation, transmission and consolidation, end quote. PTI spokesperson Barrister Ali Zafar has announced that the party has decided to approach the Supreme Court to demand an audit of the election results after the Pildat report. Footages showed crowds of pro-Palestine demonstrators protesting outside the White House in Washington, D.C. in an attempt to block U.S. President Joe Biden's convoy as he made his way to Congress to give his State of the Union address. During the speech, Biden announced that the U.S. would be constructing a pier on Gaza's coastline to allow more humanitarian aid to enter the besieged enclave. He also told Israel that it can't use humanitarian aid as a bargaining chip and that it must allow more aid into Gaza. Washington is erecting a fence around the Capitol in anticipation of Biden's State of the Union tomorrow. Not a fence around the border, a fence around Biden, who thinks he needs protection from you while he doesn't provide protection from them. <laughs> 